So I've been shooting with the Galaxy S9 and the Pixel 2 all day and I got some great shots. And when I look at them on the phones, the ones on the Google Pixel 2 look good, but the ones on the Galaxy S9 with that screen look fantastic. But I'm not gonna stop there. Bring both of these phones back to the office and let's put these photos on my computer and really compare them pixel to pixel. In everyday situations, under good lighting, both cameras excel. To my eyes, the Pixel 2 consistently renders photos full of detail with a wide dynamic range. The Galaxy S9 is brilliant at photos with little to no noise. You know, those blurry specks in the photos taken in dark environments. All right, let's take a look at these pictures I took from a scenic overlook on Chestnut Street. The image from the Pixel 2 has better dynamic range and details. Notice the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance. But the Galaxy S9 photo looks more true to life. The texture of the leaves appear more natural than the Pixel 2. The Galaxy S9 is the only phone available today that can switch apertures. In low light situations like nighttime streetscapes and inside restaurants, the Galaxy S9 switches to f1.5, the widest aperture found on any phone. Here are pictures I took of a building in Knob Hill before sunrise. The Pixel 2 picture has more noise. Look closely at the clouds. In the Galaxy S9 shot, it's remarkably clean and looks stunning. Does this mean the Galaxy S9 is the low light king? Yes. And no. While its images no doubt look brighter and have less noise than any phone I've tested, the Pixel 2 handled high contrast, low light situations better. Take a look at this shot inside Zeitgeist Bar. The Galaxy S9 photo has no noise in it, but there's blown highlights on the menu board and motion blur from people moving around. In the Pixel 2 shot, you can read the menu board, but there's noise in the shadows. Then there's portrait mode. Both phones offer it. Portrait mode separates the person in the foreground and artistically blurs the background. When I showed portrait mode shots to people who were the subject, they overwhelmingly preferred the ones taken with the Pixel 2, noting the detail and sharpness in the face. The Galaxy S9 produces portrait shots that are slightly more natural looking and softer on the details. Many times, shots have inconsistent blurring. For example, the right shoulder might be blurred but the left one is in focus, or eyeglass frames might be partially blurred out. When it comes to video, the Pixel 2 image quality is good, but I really like the punchy, saturated video look from the Galaxy S9. Here's a cable car I filmed with the Pixel 2. The image looks good. Here's the same moment recorded with the Galaxy S9. There's just a bit more color and things don't get lost in the shadows as much. Then there's slow-mo. This video was shot at 1080p and 120 frames per second on the Pixel 2. Here's the same moment captured with the Galaxy S9 in super slow-mo, AKA 720 HD at 960 frames per second. Less resolution, but way more dramatic. Oh, and uh, notice the music? Well, the S9 automatically selects music to underscore your video. Yeah, don't worry, you can change it. Why would you? Cue the Samsung Super Slow Mo Montage. The slow mo lead has been buried. The S9 offers slow motion footage in 1080p at 240 frames per second, a first for any Samsung phone. This is better suited for capturing longer clips of slow motion and the higher resolution makes it look great. And let's not forget selfies. Here are selfie videos I recorded with each phone. The one from the Samsung looks a little more saturated, um, though there's like the wall behind me here looks a little blown out highlight wise. Um, the Pixel 2 things look a little less saturated. Uh, but it's holding the highlights and shadows better. I'd be happy to have either phone in my pocket. At the end of the day, it's all about dynamic range for me. And I find myself using the Pixel 2 more often to take photos.